Welcome back to Blitzbot r &M, and today I am reviewing my LEGO Transformer, Galar. Galar here is a Cybertronian tank. He He's my least favorite of all of my Transformers I have built anytime recently. He just, his transformation I don't really like. Uh, he's got some thrusters here in the back. He's got kind of these weird hover type things with some guns he's got a big gun right here he's got even more guns here he's got his cockpit here some treads these are treads um and galar's also a headmaster my first and only headmaster i think i've ever made just an excuse to make a more lazy transformation yeah uh here he is i'm going with the more japanese style headmaster where the head is the transforma transformer and the rest of the transformer is just kind of a mech suit so he kind of has this cool like flame base like he's almost like hovering he's got a gun arm he's got goggles he's got a little bit of a backpack and yes i'm aware that's broken i chose a broken clip for the uh head crest of galar um showing off some size comparisons here is Studio Series Deluxe Class Dino. Studio Series Core Class um, Shockwave. My previous upload, Thunderlift. Bad, bad. Bob. And my next upload, here's a little, or not upload, my next Lego Transformer. Here's a little bit of a tease as to what it is. Hopefully you can guess. So now I'm going to move on to transformation. Okay, so beginning with transformation, this guy took some inspiration from auxiliary. If you could already tell by the chains. You take the chains, you dangle them off. Take these off. Take the gun off. Yeah, this guy is really lazy. That's one reason I absolutely do not like this guy. His other thing. So now you basically just have this monstrosity. So you want to fold these down. Fold this down. Fold this. Fold these up. Then you're going to fold this down. You're going to fold this peg up. You're going to do this not take that off you're going to just why is everything popping off usually this doesn't happen it's having a hard time actually getting into the uh into the pegs so you're gonna fold the gun down you're not gonna want to snap crap off so then you're going to just simply want to take the chain Droop it around this section. There's a little slot right here. You want to simply just droop it in there. And that will kind of tighten the change just like on auxiliary. And not pop apart his chest. So then you want to do the exact same thing on this leg. I'm trying to figure out. This can get kind of confusing because of the chains. That's another reason I don't like this guy because he's just no fun to transform. Um, okay, so boom. And then you've pretty much already got the entire uh, entire robot. Um, dealing with the head, you've got to first off flip these arms like this. Um, then you're going to oh, oopsies, you're going to fold no. No, you're not going to do that yet. You're going to not knock the head off, but you're just going to flip the, uh, the the little flame piece around. You're going to, if anything fell off, reattach it and not cause other things to fall off. Seriously, you're going to flip the arms. Oh my goodness. Seriously. Okay, you're going to fold them like that. Uh, I forgot to fold this around. I'm just going to take it off. do that and then you're just going to fold the little gun up and fold this up there you have galar's head 
and then you are simply going to attach it onto his body and then you're going to take his shield that was under him you're going to do that uh yeah i think i put the chain on this leg on wrong i'll have to fix that uh and then you take the giant gun you set it in here and then boom there is galar so taking a look at galar in his robot mode you can see he Definitely has a really big gun, a big shield. Uh, a lot of him is parts forming. I did take care of the chains on the legs, by the way. Those are kind of confusing. Uh, he isn't the most articulate. Oops. He only really has some movement here, a little bit of a swivel here, uh, movement here. Not like that. You want to keep the brick down. There's a clip there you can move it at. Then there's you know like that and that's about it not really much possibility i mean his head can move and he's very front heavy due to having like no feet at all so i have to have his uh gun be touching the ground so bring in some size comparisons do you know shockwave last week's upload Bob Batman and uh, next week's upload or next transformer upload so hopefully y'all enjoyed this video uh, this guy is my least enjoyable, least fun, least good Transformer. I really don't like this guy. Uh, yeah, so hopefully y'all enjoyed. Bye.